right here is oh, my is tape it? 13. Yeah. Okay. Come over here and you double check it. You go 20 to 20 and see how close you are. And if it ain't, do it again. So you have to constantly keep checking? No. This it has seven. Okay, here it looks like it might be 13, um, 11. So what is that, too? Well, as soon as I can get this gauge right, you're going to double check the stitches to make sure that it's Everybody 20 to 20. I was knitting. And this is how you, you double you check. Concentrate you on go 20 to 20 <laughs> because that's where your things are. And this is what you're trying to match, 20 to 20. Now, why this isn't working, I don't know. I'm you have to another. decide which one of those rulers is the right one. This is an easier ruler to read. I don't even know how to read the, the, the green one that comes No, out. I mean these, these things here. What are, those are the rulers that you use? These are the, yeah, these are the things when you decide what your gauge is. Right. And this tells you, you set these in here. Then, like where your edges are, where you're, that's where it tells you if you're going to decrease or increase. Oh, so you leave this up here so you can read. Yeah, see, as, it, as your thing goes by, it each row, down. yeah, each row is, oh, yeah. so that, you know, cool. you just, <laughs> and this is what you're doing. You're tracing cool. your garment. If you want it a little looer, give it another eighth of an inch. Yeah. Right. This Enough is your number of needles here. You're on zero. Right. And you have like 22. Right. On that side, and actually what? 29. 29. Then why do they side. have different rulers then? I don't For understand. Your gauge. Yeah. Um, when I first it's got still this, the number of needles on on this row here, but where's the? I guess where's the gauge part at? Well, what you would do is each time you measure, you write down what you get, and then you take an average of, I always do five measurements, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, and I write them down, my average, mm -hmm. three out of those five, mm -hmm. is what I try to bring up on these things, and I don't give up until my 2020 match those marks, because without it matching it, you're you not going to have the gauge. Stitches you, that's 40 stitches wide, so it's 20, 20 on each side. So, so you're trying to get that so gauge, these these to match up with your gauge. So okay, when it's rolling, take seven. It's, right it's at the right place, and you have the right number of needles. This should work. Different gauge sizes. Look on the back of this thing. This is your tapes, right here. Each and every one of these are your tapes. Over here is your gauge size, and this is how you try to figure out what tape you need by but, your measurement here. But I guess what I'm asking is that, is this always the size of the needles? How many needles you yeah, need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you put this on here, this is what you go by. Yeah. You would, you know, come out the 50-some needles on this side and whatever it tells you on this side. Here's your center mark right there. Yeah, you it's try your, to center it. Right your, there's your, your center. Ruler up. So whatever come out here that your is square is your needle, your one needle. Yeah, but I guess what I still don't understand is what's the difference between this one and this one? If you, if wouldn't what's they be the good? same? No, no my good. goodness, no, no. they're Look, not. Oh, right okay. there is your, the right there is your center, and these are different gauges because yeah. you have different stitch uh, lengths, stitch okay. widths. So, so what are all these funny the things video? over here? Okay, this is for your rows. Now you would go this way. To, oh, I already have it marked, but you would go this way to the here. Now here I have my rows marked fifteen six. So you press this in, you push this to your 15, and then down here would be my six. You have to press this in in order to set the stuff, otherwise it's locked. So it'll tell you, so it won't let you knit any more rows than whatever you set it, it for? It gives you the gauge for That's your 15, gauge. six. Oh, okay. For each, uh, like uh, how many rows an inch? That's, you just set it for that. So every time, the carriage goes across. Actually, go by this as to how to make this garment. Yep. So this is your mode gauge, and this is your your. Uh, this is your stitches. This is. Your